And we begin with breaking news tonight. A triple shooting puts dozens of children in harm's way. Tonight, a man is dead and two others are in the hospital. It happened in a park on the city's west side. 7 Action News reporter Curtis Jackson is at the scene. He joins us now live with the very latest. What can you tell us, Curtis? Well, if you take a look behind me, you can see this looks like your pretty standard park. Swings, slide, monkey bars, well-kept grounds. It should be a safe place for children to play. But two groups of young men turned it into a battlefield, forcing dozens to take cover. It's sad for them to be shooting like that. My grandson was right there by them cans right there. He couldn't even run. He had to lay down on the ground. Neighborhood outrage after dozens gathered in a nearby playground are caught in the crossfire of a shootout. Police say two groups of young people exchanged gunfire at Fields Playground here on the city's west side. There were more than 50 bystanders in the park at the time. Many of them were children. I'm happy that none of these little kids got hurt. Um, it's a blessing that, that nobody else got hurt. Police say three young men were shot. One died at the scene. Two others were taken to the hospital. One is in critical condition. None of the victims were among the bystanders. Police need the neighborhood's help tracking down the shooters. But so far, no one has come forward with any information. You know, if you know something, say something so these senseless situations can go away. I think we can do more than, than the police. At least tell them whether they found me or not. They need to stop. And the only way we can get them to stop is get together and, and point them out. Well, police still on scene here have been for over three hours now. Witnesses say there are a number of shell casings there that police are picking up and trying to piece together what happened. But they simply need the public's help. They are hoping that someone will contact them. Remember, if you have information about this case, you can remain anonymous. Live in Detroit tonight, Curtis Jackson, 7 Action News. Hopefully